Before we go this morning, I'm going to talk with Dr. Kendall Jones of Paradise Dental Care. We're going to focus on the artistic side of dentistry. Dr. Jones, thank you so much for being on with me this morning. Thanks for having me, Jenna. All right, Dr. Jones, why don't you start by telling us how you got into dentistry? Well, I don't think anybody's born wanting to be a dentist. Uh, I think kids have dreams of being firemen or policemen or pilots. Uh, but dentistry came to me probably in my third year of college. I had taken a lot of courses in art, uh, specifically ceramics and metallurgy. And I really enjoyed the um, artistic side of sculptural art, three-dimensional art in particular. And uh, I had originally wanted to be a medical doctor, uh, but I found that this would allow me to use my hands on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and I always wanted to help people out, so it seemed like a natural fit. And so have you been able to take what you learned in those courses, Dr. Jones, into your practice to this day? Absolutely. You'd be surprised. Uh, sometimes I'll have kids come up who are in college getting ready to go to dental school and they want to know what can they take that will prepare them more to be a dentist. A lot of times they'll think it's a biology or a chemistry class. But really, uh, artistic classes, I would say you use those more than anything else as a dentist because you're sculpting things with your hands every day. Um, so myself personally, uh, ceramics has been kind of a real cornerstone for me to turn back to as far as the artistic side of dentistry and shaping teeth and sculpting. Let's talk about the photo that is behind us this morning. It's okay. the teacups and the teapot. What's the meaning behind this? So this is uh, Ben Owens, who's a ceramicist from Seagrove, North Carolina, uh, which is where a lot of ceramics, pottery, as they say as well, is done. And uh, he was one of my favorite artists when I took ceramics in college. So what you'll see in the middle is the teapot. And the teapot is kind of considered the coup de grace for ceramicists throwing clay on a wheel. There's hand building, and then there's throwing on a wheel. And because it involves so many different things, uh, you've got the spout, and you've got the hand building handle, and then you've got the uh, actual bowl in the center, basically the pot. Um, so this is neat because it's a standalone piece, a teapot. Uh, you don't see sets of teapots really, just a teapot. What's also neat though is the cups, that is a set. So you learn when you're going through ceramics classes or any kind of art that the, you know, first you want to make something that's beautiful and pleasing to the eye and you can get that, but then it's, it's like do six more uh, mm -hmm. and just like it. And that's what's difficult. So it's kind of the uh, technique of being able to recreate what you've done as well as the artistic value of uh, kind of originally having the thought. I I'm sure that that definitely is a challenge to make sure that every tooth is looking the same after <laughs> you've tried to recreate it. It really is because you're looking at someone's smile as a whole, not mm -hmm. just the tooth. <clears throat> and you're looking at the juxtaposed dentition or their teeth surrounding that tooth. So you want the tooth to be you know, pretty and beautiful in its own right, but you also want it to look real natural with the surrounding teeth. Yeah. Have you had some influences in your dentistry career? Yes, uh, in particular, uh, Bill Golner, who I work with now. Uh, Dr. Golner has been an excellent mentor for the past several years. And he's been a member of the Florida Association of Cosmetic Dentistry and, <clears throat> excuse me, the American Association of Cosmetic Dentistry for some time. And he's just uh, excellent with aesthetics and cosmetics with dentistry. He's really taught me a lot as far as what to look for and how to translate what I learned in ceramics class so long ago into the art of dentistry today. Now, are you happy with your career choice, Dr. Jones? You said that this wasn't what you planned to do, <laughs> but you're in it now. Yes, definitely. I, 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 it wasn't begrudgingly at all. I, I love being a dentist, so it's enjoyable. Well, wonderful. Well, you can see Dr. Jones at Paradise Dental Care. If you have any more questions about the artistic side of dentistry, feel free to contact him. It's been a pleasure having you on. I look forward to having you back on again in the future. Thanks, Jen. I appreciate it. That's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will be right back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone. If I